guys, it's Lily Alpius here and today's video is a film room tour. I've been wanting to do this video literally since I started my channel seven years ago. And the reason I just come out of nowhere after six months of not uploading a video and just releasing this film room tour is because of those six months I haven't made a video. You see, we are now in lockdown, which means I have a bunch of extra time. I just haven't been in here. <laughs> it's been pretty dusty and like messy. Like I used to have this craft table in here where I do all my crafts. Now it looks different. I did a massive clean two days ago. It took me four hours to clean. Four hours. I was vacuuming, wiping the tables, like reorganizing things. It was a massive clean. I've not cleaned this room like that thoroughly in years. I'm really happy with how it looks and it's probably the cleanest you'll ever see it. That's why I'm filming it now before I start filming things and it just become a debacle. So let's get started. Like every room tour, we're gonna start at my door. So this is my door, believe it or not. Crazy, I know. Here we have this whiteboard that I've literally had for about 12 years. It's been chilling in the corner of my room or in the attic and it's like, finally got a purpose. It's like my checklist. So now I've got film, a film room tour. And then I'm gonna have like editor and like all that, upload it. And then next to my door, we have my little craft trolley where I've got all my supplies for making. We've got some hot glue sticks and my hot glue guns are here as well. Then we've got some ribbon, got some string that is in need of untangling. Got some glue sticks, tape. Underneath it, we've got my airbrush supplies. As you know, I make customs. So this has got like my paints I use. I often use acrylic though. These are too water based and don't have that much coverage for just airbrushing if I wasn't to be doing a custom. And then I've got some wet wipes to like wipe off the paint if I do a mistake. And then this is the holder. As you can see, it's really messy. And I've got the stand, which if you've seen me make customs in the past, I put my LPS up on there and then I spin it around to get all the surfaces. And then underneath this, I have some glue. And oh, here we have some mirrors that I was going to use in my Halloween special, but I didn't get them in time. They came too late, but I ended up using my bathroom mirror, but it was supposed to be reflection and it like morphed into this other creature. You'll get it if you watch it. It's and then we've got this mat I was to be making something on the floor, which I often do. I love the floor, but this is where I would put it on so my carpet doesn't get all messy. That's my craft trolley. And then next to it, what you've all been waiting for, the film table. We've got oh, this long table. These boxes are if I want to get a closer up shot, so I'll put a background for my backgrounds on here, which I just had, but I took it off to show you what it would look like if I wasn't filming a video. But I would pin it in there and I would often film here using my tripod. And then I have some of my accessories. I probably do accessory collection. If you guys would like to see that, so but we've got lots of accessories. I've got even more in the cupboard, which I'll show you soon. And then I've got some rubber bands for tying up the like My Little Ponies here. And then some more pins to put up some art. I've got all my art here on the side. This is quite old art. Everything on here is like roughly two years old. This one is even older. I don't know if you guys have seen it. One minute drawing challenge, my sister drew that for me like after the video. And it was my mascot at the time, the purple husky. And then I've got some other art I've painted on CDs because I'm pretty much a Pinterest type of girl. Like I love Pinterest and you see these CD things on there all the time and I've got quite a few on there. And I've also just got some quotes. I love inspirational quotes. I've got this other thing. I came in like a package but I really liked it. Over here I've got my fan art wall. If you have any fan art you've ever done for me or if you're planning to do fan art Send me an email or like send it on Instagram or something and I will print it out and it can feature on this wall. This is all the fan art I could find to put up on here but I've got so many which I'm so thankful for. Whenever I look at this I just feel so happy because you guys have spent the time and energy making this for me. Like it's so sweet. Look how good these are. And then I've got some notes from like trade packages. Sadly, I threw lots of them out when I was cleaning a few years ago. I've got some of these still because these are the more recent ones, but I haven't traded in like a year or two because I have kind of been off and on this channel. Like I haven't quit, but I am not regularly making videos anymore. I will do an update video in the future. I, I still want to keep this channel alive. It's just like I've gotten busy, but that, that's for another video. Here we've got my background paper storage where I've got it in colour order. So these are like green, pink, purple, red, orange, yellow. These are like rainbow multicoloured. These are like monochrome, black, white, grey. Up here is like a random backgrounds, like forests and all that. And above it 
it used to be over here but I moved it a few days ago I liked it with my artwork it kind of fit the theme it was for my LPS tube day art that I did where I drew everyone's mascots but I did that again over here that was from 2020 I remember doing that on a zoom call for school that is where I drew the, every main character from like all the popular series it doesn't have every series but it had the most popular ones from the time and like the past and all that here we have another one of my lights I've got some pusheen stickers I put on there when I was like 10 and I had this pusheen face and underneath the desk I have some sets from videos you guys have not yet seen like I plan this I'm gonna just say it I planned this series like in 2019 and I spent so many hours making sets but I don't know if it'll ever come out. I probably will because one day I'll probably just be really bored but I just don't have the time anymore. But I have another box down here with some of the things from my Chinese New Year special from 2020. And then over here I've got as also for the series that you may or may not see because I don't know if I will continue that because it's a lot of work. This has got some extra stuff for that series and like random props as well as empty boxes for if I wanted to craft something in the future. Oh, and also I've got these lights here. These are my overtop lights where this will go over top of it on both sides and it just enhances the lighting. I've got this light which covers the left side, then I've got the right side. Over here I have my plugs where I plug all my lights in. Over here is my little film clapper to just be on the back of my craft table which was once here but that disc is no longer in here it's also a lot more spacious without it but anyways i got this for like a birthday present i don't know four or five years ago and it's just kind of been a decoration for my studio ever since i'm so glad it stays up because i was genuinely scared that it would just come off randomly because that's what it did if it was leaning up against something it would just thud over here I have my craft supplies. I painted this box like two, three years ago and I'm going to repaint it eventually because this is when I first started out painting in like the summer of 2018. I've painted a lot more since then so I've improved and I think I could do better than this but I think it's really cool to see like how far your art's come. But here I've got like my mini ponies that I got when I was like seven. So I missed so many of them. And then I've got some LPS. This was from my fifth birthday, I remember. My sister, Madison. She's featured on my channel as well. She got the pink cap. And then this one I got when I was seeing an LPS movie at the movie theater when I was eight. And they gave us free toys. And I don't really know what that was about, but I got a free LPS. Here are all my double LPS. I'm thinking of selling them on Trade Me. I don't really need them and I don't make as many customs anymore, so I'm probably just gonna sell them. Here I have my houses. These used to be in my cupboard, but I decided it would look better if I put them over here because this was really empty. My Sylvanian family's house. And these are LPS, and I'm not too sure what that one is. I got it from like a market or something. It was like a dollar, so I was like, bargain. And then I also got this one from the same market. These are also Sylvanian family's houses here. And another LPS house. And over here I have some LPS toys that I've gotten over the years. I won this one at Time Zone. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's like this arcade gaming thing. It's... I don't know how to explain it. And then I got this one when I was in Australia a few years ago. I got a vlog of when I got that. In this drawer we have all my LPS cats. You'll recognize this from my collection video. And then over here I've got all my dogs. I have more dogs out of any LPS. I don't know why that is. I think that there's just more LPS dogs than there are cats and things. But there's a continuation of the dogs in here, in this little drawer there. And then we've got like a bunch of different types of LPS here, like reptiles, birds, mammals, zoo animals. And then over here is the last drawer with some like new generation LPS, like the G3s. And we have like G4, 5s, pigs, bears. And then if we walk over here, we see the ponies! You guys have seen this in my My Little Pony collection, so you will be familiar. This is something that hasn't changed. Lots of this has, but this hasn't. I haven't added to my collection since then, I don't think. So this will be the same. And then if we walk over here, I have this shelf that 
has changed. I used to have sleesh horses on here because I had a sleesh horse phase back in like 2019 or 2018. So I had them my whole life. Like me and my sisters collected them from the age of like, I don't know, five or six. Like we loved horses back then. I replaced them with some of my pusheens. I'm not that into pusheen now, but I mean, it was blank space. So I thought I'd just put them there. And then I've got my new one boxes. I'm going to open them eventually. I know that's controversial. Everyone's like, keep them in the box, but it's like... I want to use them in my videos. Then I've got my pony customs that I would have hair in right now, but my hair tool is a pain to use. These are what they look like so far. I've got a video of how I'm making them, so that'll come out eventually. And then I've got this Luna I got when I was like eight or some Boxing Day sales. It's like the sales the day after Christmas, and it's like everything's really cheap. And then I have my custom bases, as well as some customs I'm working on at the moment. These I've been working on for ages, like I need to work on them. And then up here I've got my finished customs and you've seen all these guys in my videos and my all my customs video which will be linked in the description. See how far I've come, like my first custom. This is like my most recent ones. And up here I have all the characters from my channel as well as some Sleesh Horse customs that I've done over the years. And some of them are questionable but I did them when I was 8 so I've learned a lot more since then. I have my mascot and remember Abby. And this is Madison's mascot and my original mascot too. You recognize these guys from my LPS versus MLP video. And then up here I have some big LPS houses that cannot fit on top of my cabinet where I have all my LPS. So they just chill up there. And then in here is all my LPS furniture and accessories. We'll start off from the bottom. This box is really just random stuff. And this one's like big house kind of accessories. They're not quite big enough to be houses, but they kind of are. Over here is some sponge to make like beds in the corner. Motor for the airbrush. So I just keep it there because it's quite big. Some stuffing, which I use for dust in my videos. Behind it is some rocks. And some sticks and grass because I make lots of videos like in the forest, like fantasy type things. And even more backgrounds. I know, I have too many backgrounds. If you've seen grass in any of my videos, it'll most likely be this sheet because it's just so good because it's flat and easy to use. Up here are the cars and the small houses. These mini ones and like trucks and all that. Here is where it gets tedious. I've got all the small accessories. The Jenga blocks, which I use for desks. Those are like big LPS accessories. These are my My Little Pony accessories. Like instruments. This is like bathroom type stuff. Then this is props to use. For example, you can see there's like a sleet, a basket, those kind of things. Then I have some food. Then that's where the trees are. Those are more clothes and accessories for the elf, like bigger dresses and hats. And then I've got bedroom stuff, beads, mirrors, blankets. Then here's some lounge type things where it's got like couches, TVs, kitchen furniture, like sinks and tables and chairs. Here are sets from the past. These are for a future video, which may or may not come out. I remember this one from Conquest as well as that. This the whole set here is from for the series and up here is more conquest sets like all of these are and these are just like random videos where i've had cafes so they're just random signs here is my one day at a time set um questionable handwriting but up here is my easter set as well and i've got backgrounds from my videos like under these that are if i wanted to recreate it i could just take them because some of them have got like stuff connected to them so it would be accurate now I've got some spray paint for the sets that I make and then another big LPS house thing. And this one I'm going to sell on Trade Me, which is like New Zealand eBay. And some of varnish I use for my customs or room tour. So I'm going to show you how I would set this up to give you an idea of how this works. So I'm going to get the background out, which is this one here. We're going to pin it on here. So once we've got the background up, I'm going to turn on the lights. Then I place one of these over top because since this is a small space, I only need one. We can't do this all without Ivy. I'm 
the last step is the tripod. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the film room tour. And I feel like you'll now understand the process of making videos. You kind of can imagine where I am when I'm filming. Bye guys!